Excellency, thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. Um, you're, of course, seen as uh, very much the architect of what is today Qatar's energy industry. Uh, and perhaps more specific to today's discussions and audience, you're also, you were also the visionary behind creating a gas pipeline network for the GCC 15 to 20 years ago. Uh, now, we've seen that materialize to a certain extent. We have the Dolphin Project that's brought Qatari gas to the UAE. But overall, your vision and desire has not really materialized. Why is that? Oh, it's a good question. I ask myself always why that. I remember back in the mid of the 90s, I was, I proposed to the oil ministers of the GCC in our meeting in Riyadh at that time that uh, I give them, an, you know, a proposal how to build a Gulf interconnection uh, to supply the whole GCC countries with gas. Not on, you know, okay, maybe the main supplier will be start with Qatar, but also in our proposal say that anyone in the future can also inject gas if we have surplus. We draw, you know, um, a nice mechanism how the, the uh, Gulf pipeline interconnecting will, you know, be the first uh, to connect the whole GCC in uh, gas pipeline. At that time, I was not trying, you know, not, not people, some people, if some people consider me uh, a man who tried to be a good seller, sell his products. Really, it's not that, you know, aspect in my mind, but in that mind, I was a big believer that we should create, uh, you know, and to uh, link the whole GCC with not only, you know, with the gas interconnection, but with power system, with uh, also the, the Gulf uh, power national grid, and so we can integrate the Gulf I mean, that's countries. that's had some success. The electricity uh, it's not really a success. success, you know, it's only, backup system, it's only 500 megawatt, you know. Unfortunately, I tried in that time to propose to make it a commercial one, you know, not just back, back to back. So why, what but was the resistance why, to the other GCC? Why, really, I don't under, you know, still I try, you know, to uh, uh, ask myself, why in that time be rejected in, the, in that meeting? And mostly they don't, uh, you know, I, sh I saw they are not interesting. Or I saw they are not, you know, the, I didn't know really, and I'm still, you know, trying to uh, get an answer. Mm. I mean, given given the the, the the forecast for demand for electricity, which this gas is going to power, the need the, GCC, the time I was com need. yeah, but the time I was confident they need the gas because most of the GCC they use crude oil in to produce power. So even I was at that time, I tell some ministers at that time, I don't need cash. I will give you gas, give me covenant to go the price as an oil crude. You will be the, always the winner. Because they will first, you know, will use gas in their power, is a more environmental, is a more or less cost, and they will save their crude oil. So the resistance is simply geopolitics, is that what we're I talking? think so, yeah, I think so. That time is mostly is a geopolitics than the, you know, uh, than uh, the reality. If you see that it was an answer that they may, it has, you know, geopolitics more than that. The first one also we, you know, the pipeline, we start then with the United Arab Emirates, came that, you know, uh, the offset group, you know, come to see me and then they start, you know, to discuss, you know, uh, to create the first pipeline and from Qatar to Abu Dhabi. And the time, you know, they 
what they call them now the dolphin after some so time. The dolphin project was also meant to even just go on, on as far as Pakistan and even that did no, not no, 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 no. This is another project that they call it back in the early 90s mm -hmm. uh, with, a, with the crescent oil. They're trying, you know, to, you know, they came to Qatar, they try, you know, to build long pipeline to Pakistan. Right? And that time, you know, the reality, this, but, you know, this project was, uh, it's a very difficult, you know, because it's geopolitics, it will enter a lot of borders, and uh, the time, you know, they face a lot of difficulties, deep water so, and mm -hmm. to reach. So the time it was, the actual, you know, it didn't work because it has no economical backup. And it's to cross, you know, I always believe uh, when you have a long pipeline, you will face a lot of difficulties when it also uh, it will pass, uh, you know, a transit to different countries. Uh, it will be very, very difficult to implement it. Is pricing... But uh, the dolphin only not including Pakistan, not only our term, with the, uh, only UAE and to Oman. Would you say that pricing of gas and how that would be priced across the gas pipeline would have any influence on why other countries are no, not willing no, to no, push No, 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 even agenda. that time they rejected even before we discussed the term, uh, the commercial term. Even that time, you know, also we have uh, a project to supply Kuwait and already almost, the, you know, we and Kuwait, we signed the agreement, but it, but, uh, it didn't work because uh, they, the Kuwaiti, they need a permission to use other country uh, water territorial, you know, uh, uh, you know, passage, and they and they don't receive it. So we can just briefly address the uh, topic of LNG. Uh, obviously, Qatar has been quite a pioneer in exporting LNG for the last 15 to 20 years. Those long-term contracts that it has signed are coming to the end in the next few years. We see other LNG suppliers in the world coming on stream most immediately perhaps in Australia and further out. Is that at all uh, a concern for Qatar and could it be also a stronger trigger therefore for, for Qatar to push the gas pipeline network uh, issue well, I, again? You know, so far, you know, we contracting, you know, our, you know, the first contract was started in 1997, you know, for 25 years. So it needs now several years, you know, so far, you know, or, so if we see that in 1997, uh, uh, this is the first contract with uh, to Japan. And uh, then, uh, you know, after, you know, Korea, Taiwan, and other contracts, and most of this contract is 25 years, uh, you know, uh, taken being. So how, how does Qatar feel at the moment about its demand security for its LNG? Well, I think, you know, the demand of LNG will continue, you know, and I think, you know, the, the gas, will be a, a, a more essential, you know, for if you see that, you know, even, you know, now, even the Gulf countries, you know, I will not believe it back in the 90s, but today I'm a big believer if you see the first contract to supply, for instance, Dubai with LNG, with Qatar, and, and, and 15 years contract. Then now Kuwait, we start to sell to Kuwait, you know, uh, some LNG cargo, and now Kuwait will, and to, uh, to introduce a long-term contract. Now, even uh, uh, Jordan, they're starting off to connect, you know, to start, you know, to talk to, with, also with Qatar to supply some, uh, now they will build, you know, a ter their a terminal. Even Pakistan now, it's a become a reality. It takes many, many years. I started, you know, with Pakistan back in the mid of 90s. And finally, the Pakistani decided, you know, to finally to build their own terminal. And finally, we sell some, already we sell some, uh, maybe seven to eight cargoes. And now we are in negotiation to enter for a long-term contract with Pakistan. I don't think so. You know, Qatar today, with the 77 millions, mostly is long-term contracting with the, with the biggest LNG fleet of ships. Uh, people sometimes in back, they ask me, uh, how about pipeline? I said, oh, already we have all our pipeline, but it's a floating pipeline. So we can move flexibility, we can move easy, we can divert easy. So we have a more flexibility today. We own 
the biggest LNG fleet in the world. Secondly, we are the biggest producer of LNG in the world. We can move, we can trust. I mean, that's Ma today, but there are a lot of new suppliers coming on the market. Oh, I do, yeah, you know, see, this is the problem with the new suppliers, you know. We saw now, and the new ones in the, what they call it, the, who will, you know, just not start the construction, they will freeze it. The, 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 the LNG today under construction, and they must they finish it, they will face big difficulties in the price. So mostly we indicate that they will only, if they will start to work and supply, they will only will generate cash flow only. They will never generate profit. Okay, so we have to wait for so energy prices to it's, go up. Yeah, zero. it's a very, very difficult for the new project if the price of oil will still continue as in the 40s. Because most all the, you know, all the contract is related to oil. So this is a very difficult now for we, we conduct even in my foundation a few months ago a very sensitive studies about uh, LNG, about vis-a-vis -vis conventional gas, shale gas and others. Uh, and we find out that it's uh, for the new projects or the projects never start, not yet, they will not do it, they will delay it. The project under construction, and they must finish it. Then they will face that, you know, we calculated that if they will start to supply the commitment customers, they will be in a cash flow business, not a profit business. So this is also will be very difficult for uh, suppliers, you know, when they sell their natural resource or gas without without no profit, but only to generate cash flow to cover, you know, their debits. So and Qatar that. is comfortable for the time being as, as the... Oh, uh, we are first. We start in the right time back in, in the mid of the 90s. All our LNG sunk cost and other costs is we recover it. So we have a very competitive and we can, you know, you know, no one can compete us as the newcomers because we are already in the market for the last 15 years or more, and we are already cover the whole cost, we cover the whole, either the ships or even, uh, or even the, our cost. So we, we are in a very strong position that we can compete. We are not a newcomer. We are not now, you see, most of this, also we have a benefit that we built back our LNG when the market was very low. We started in 1993 uh, 93 in construction, or 94 in the construction of the first train, and then we start to continue. In that time, the market was, yes, very depressed. They have uh, many you know, financial problems and so, but the time, the cost of construction was very low. So you so had the vision and you, you were successful. Oh, That's we, you know, you see, uh, in that time, you know, there were debate how can Qatar will survive with a very low price in the, back in the 90s. How we can, because most of our, uh, the first contract with Japan is related to oil and even to Korea and others, and Taiwan and then India, China and other, all the, uh, our customers, uh, then uh, Thailand and other. This is what we call it, the Asian customers for us. But I'm a big believer today where there will be the big shortage of gas in the GCC. This is the biggest market. Because today we are sure that Oman, they need gas, Bahrain, they need gas, Emirates, they need gas, Saudi Arabia, they need gas to replace crude oil in power. Because I don't believe that Saudi Arabia will continue burning millions of barrels mm -hmm in their power sector, unless for, for them and repli to re replace it with gas is a more value for them and they will save their oil. At the same time, also Kuwait, because Kuwait, they are, you know, uh, you know they burn many um, also crude oil or fuel in their power sector. So this is now where the Kuwait find out finally that they will we failed not to supply them by pipeline because of the geopolitics. 
but then now finally... Now they're in trouble, so maybe that will be finally And now, yeah, now Kuwait, they understand that the time come to build their own term or LNG terminal. And we or, already we sold some cargoes to Kuwait, and I think Kuwait will entering, you know, in the future. Uh, and the benefit of Qatar LNG, we are very close to them, short distance, and we are competitive.